Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, for a video to Age Equus, I'm gonna talk about the reroll. Going to give you a complete guide, step by step, how to do it and what you need to know before doing the reroll. So let's just dive into. It. We're starting with you're gonna need your phone, either your phone or a computer, because we can't do that with the PC client of the game. I'll be leaving to you in the description a link to the emulator I'm using. So you can just press on it and it will be promoting you and opening the website that you're going to download the blue stack and then you will be getting as well the game straight with it. So why it's only possible to do it from the phone or from the emulator? The reason is because there is on both of them the guest account login. This is the main point over here. This is how we can be doing it on the PC client. We don't have this option. Because you don't want to be creating multiple accounts with different emails to be able to get these three, uh, the guaranteed six stars hero. So making a guest account is the easiest way. If we're going to use an emulator, then we have this feature in this emulator here, which is the multi instant. This one here going to help you to be creating copies of the emulator so you can download the game. And then you can be making a guest account and you check out which hero you're going to be going for until you're satisfied with your selection of the six star hero. It will be taking time to be fixing this one. So we're starting with if it's really worth it or not. For me, it's having two options. The first opinion about it, it's really worth it since you will be getting the guaranteed hero of the six stars that you're gonna be selecting yourself as well as you still have a chance to actually get an extra five star or even six stars from the banners that's available like if going to the spirit divine then you will be seeing that we have in the limited time banner the one for a gleaming light and this one including six stars heroes as well as the five stars you need to be getting 30 summons in order to be able to select your six stars. So there is a small chance to get actually five star or even six star extra. But the down point of it is the point of it will be a lot of time consuming, which you're going to need to be creating a multi insta for the emulator as well as you need to go for this tutorial, all of it until you're able to have enough to do the 30 summons. It's really a lot of time going to be consumed, especially if you're uh, playing multiple games, then it will be really a lot of time. So for me, I choose to go with the first account I'm going with and hope later on I will be able to get more six stars heroes. Now moving to the platform here, the Wikipedia that's provided by Breedwin gg the credit go for them to the written guide to it as well as we're gonna have an look over which options of heroes the six stars you can be going for if you decided to go for the uh, reroll as well as uh, to be doing it from the phone you will be needing to do a clear cache to the app which will be required to download the data of the game again in order to be able to do a guest account again or other guest account not the one that you're using before so for which heroes you should be aiming for if you're going to be doing the reroll we're starting with the first one going to be cyrus he's the main core of the fire teams look into he's a bruce damage dealer as well as going to be providing element zone like checking the summary of this one the core of the fire teams and overall one of the best block breakers. He can also provide constant creation of fire zones while sustaining a respectable personal DPS. As a bonus, if you get him early, you can use one of your selector for his first dupe, which allows him to be casting his ultimate right out at the start of the battle. Move into the emulator to check this one out. Here he is this one here. Check on this. He should be in the seed skill. So yeah, when making him for this one, 
deal fire damage equal to 2,100% from the, far, uh, the uh, final attack to all enemies within 600 unit radius. So really, he's, for me, I do like to be playing with the element style. It's going to be given extra damage. So yeah, we have in the first option going to be him. And then if going for the Kurashan team, going to be Larila. She's a solid front line and the backbone of the Kurashan team. She can adopt between offensive and defensive stains, breaking the judge as well as devire the damage from allies to herself. So she's a tank. She's going to be able to absorb damage from the allies, which is really good to be getting her in the start. If you get her first loop, well, let's say it's... Uh, be it with selector or not, she can apply her bully funny buffs even when she isn't in the field. Truly a character who can't beat any team. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this effect she can be applying even if we're having her in the backup team. This is really great to be having. And then we have in the third option going to be from the support, going to be long queen, boosting the highest healing potential in the game so she can. She's a potential of the highest healer in the game for a long term. If you got her, you will be having a long term healer as well as a parrier defender. So personally, I'll say I'm having two options. Either going for uh, Cyrus since I prefer to be playing with fire as well as going for the Kurashan looking to the overtime damage. It's always good to get this kind of extra damage, you know. Yeah, the only backside of selecting the the Russian, the Russian only works alone. It's not having the element style like uh, the same with the fire. If combining fire with electric, it will be making a field effect. If we are playing with the Russian, then we need to be playing a complete team of Russian, as it's gonna be boosting the their own damage. And then we have in the healer. Personally, I'm not really a type of going for healing but I'll say it's another option too and then you can be checking out the other selection or heroes that's available that they are suggesting on I'll leave to you in the description the link to this Wikipedia as well as you can easily find it on the official website of the game they are providing really a great helpful information related to the game as they have been playing in the Chinese version so now you know exactly how to be doing the reroll for the game and what you need to know about the options for the first six cards you will be selecting. And that's all. Make sure guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel for the future content that's coming to the game to not be missing it as well as write to me in the comments what you guys think about this and if you're having any other thoughts, I'll be more than happy to actually hear it. For now, take care all and enjoy your game.